Okay, I'm doing a quick review of Google Chrome. Um, as some of you may know, Google Chrome is a new web browser. Um, if you're a YouTube user, you probably do know about it because they advertised it on there um, for several months. Uh, you couldn't go pretty much anywhere on YouTube without seeing an ad for it. If you were a um, Internet Explorer user, you seem to see the ads a lot more often than like a Firefox user. It was rather um, kind of suspicious on how they were doing the advertising there, but targeted marketing, whatever. Um, in s very quick summary, I like the browser for the most part. It does have some display issues on a few pages, and um, it is lacking a couple. Um, options I'd like to see. Um, let's go ahead and check the options real quick. Um, I'll just go through each tab straight down and give you a brief on how they compare. Um, pretty much on startup options or like any other browser with the exception of Internet Explorer. Uh, Internet Explorer does not have a restore the last pages visited. Um, home page um, using a new tab or uh, open this page kind of thing. Um, that's pretty much only going to be able to be compared to like Internet Explorer on that because um, Internet Explorer does give you the option to use a blank page or the new tab. Firefox I do not believe does. Default search options. It works kind of the same as if uh, you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer here. Um, the thing is, you'll notice there is no search box. Um, your um, address bar is your search box. So if you just start typing stuff in it, you can just go ahead and do your search there. Um, obviously, they got the make a default browser. Passwords works the same. Form autofill. Browsing data. Um, this is probably where I have the biggest setting issue at um, browsing data that's going to include things like your cache um, temporary files things like that there is no way to change the location of your cache in Google Chrome um, Firefox you can it's hidden uh, Internet Explorer it's very easy to change Google Chrome you just can't uh, it doesn't let you it stores in a proprietary I should say proprietary um, in a rather obscure database format is the word I'm thinking of obscure not proprietary obscure um, you can't really change it you can't really do too much with it um, other settings under the hood this is supposed to be like the little tweakers section I guess you could say proxy settings is exactly what you expect in any other browser um, privacy I uh, do like the option to turn off the suggestions for navigation errors. Um, basically, if you misspell domain name or um, get the address wrong, it'll give you suggestions on what you could try on that. Um, it's nice to have that, but I find it useful to have it on. Um, same thing with the suggestion service. That's what I was just talking about there. DNS pre-caching. Um, I don't think Internet Explorer Firefox has an option for those. Uh, I think Firefox does it, but you just don't have an option to turn it off. Uh, enable the phishing and malware protection. This would be compared to the um, what they call site filter in Internet Explorer. Um, you can turn it off in Internet Explorer, but it's not obvious what site filter is unless you know what it is. Um, Firefox has a site filtering thing as well, but I don't think there's an option for it, or at least I haven't seen it. Um, options on where to save your files at, cookie settings, all that's typical stuff, font language settings, years is built into it. Um, you do have an option to use SSL 2.0. I don't see any options for turning on or off any of the other SSL options. That's kind of odd. Internet Explorer and Firefox gives you options to turn on and off the other ones. Chrome doesn't. Okay, so that's it for the options. Um, 
what I'm going to be showing you here is my default home page. Um, you're more than welcome to use it yourself. Um, it's one I've built and I you know, said for any builds that I do for computers or reload them, it goes to this. Um, as you can see on some of the um, lists, uh, the bullets are all the way to the left. In any other browser, they show up right next to each item, uh, which should be the default behavior, I think, based on the standard. I could be wrong there. Um, but I would like to have seen them actually go through, oops, didn't want to click on that, and put it right by each one of these instead of all the way to the left. Um, because based on that, these should also go over with it because these are centered. These should be centered as well. So that's a bug there. And I just noticed, because <laughs> I went back here. <laughs> well, that's a bug. Um, you usually want to go through and open up this page. Um, as you can see, this should be gray as it is here at the bottom of the page. But often when I go through and open up first the uh, from this point down it's white um, which would be a bug as well so uh, for some weird reason going to another page and clicking back resets that um, usually all the bugs I've seen have something to do with the lists um, I haven't really seen too many others speed performance excellent um, I mean Firefox try and move tabs like this I mean even just having one open it's a little bit laggy um, Chrome it's just boom it, it just does it uh, when you go through open up a new tab uh, by default it will show you your most visited pages um, it will also show you your most recent bookmarks pretty cool if you want to go through and just jump to something you were doing before if you accidentally closed out a tab and you want to go back to it you can get your recently closed tabs um, the bookmarks I did upgrade from an old version of Chrome to a newer one so I think this is why I have the two options here for other bookmarks and bookmarks um, before what was happening with Chrome the old versions you go through and add bookmarks and they would kind of show up across here from what I remembered and then um, after that filled up you just started getting things under other bookmarks and you couldn't move them around you couldn't rearrange them anything like that this bookmarks here you can actually rearrange manage them a lot like you would with um, Firefox so that's normal behavior nothing special there um, if a tab crashes out Firefox, the entire program would bomb out. Uh, Chrome, it's pretty cool and probably the reason I like it um, over Firefox. And the one, probably the one thing it does have over Firefox. Um, a tab crashes out, the entire browser doesn't crash out. That one tab just closes out. Windows tells you Chrome crashed, but only that one tab dies. The other ones keep running very useful especially if you um, accidentally browse to a site that has spyware on it something like that you can safely close out of that tab and all the other ones are still safe good to go uh, you don't have to worry about the other ones infecting or knowing about the others like you do with the other browsers so um, yeah overall I would say Chrome's a good browser it needs a little bit more work um, right now it's pretty much just Firefox with a little bit better speed and um, more stability with the tabs um, the display issues are preventing me from using it more and I would probably use this on my um, E 900 my EEE -E -E 900 but since I can't adjust where the temporary files go I'm not using it on there because I don't want to 
wear out my uh, solid state drive any faster than I want. I want to actually use my RAM drive, which is actually much, much faster. Uh, so that's it.